Hey, Dennis, I'll jump in here. It's Joe Person. Good to see you. Um, just what Matt just told us that you're starting this week. Um, what do you, what do you think about it? He said you have the skill set of a starter. I mean, what, what's your mindset this week? And then just generally speaking, when it comes to starting in the national football event. Yes, sir. So, uh, as you know, uh, when one man go down, it's always next man up and the next man always has to prepare as a starter and make sure he's ready to fill the role whenever because you never know what will happen. And um, I'm very blessed and grateful to be able to step up and, and fill in the role. He mentioned, too, it was kind of a weird preseason for you in a, in a good way with the birth of a child. But, you know, you kind of missed some time here and there. You know, how ready are you? And, and was it kind of a challenge getting ready this, this summer with, with being gone? Uh, no, I kind of, I kind of took a week off. Uh, I had a little girl back in August, um, early August and, uh, I took a week off, but as I was gone, I was still studying my book and still, you know, taking everything day by day, watching the practices. So I pretty much stayed ahead by doing, by doing that. Right, let's go to Brett Jensen for the next question. Hey Dennis, I'm curious, you know, you drafted, you know, late as a rookie, you got playing time because of injuries. Then last year you got playing time because of injuries. And now here you are again starting week one because of a COVID list. Um, you know, it, it just seems like that you always have to be in the right spot at the right time. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a blessing, man. Uh, last year I was dealing with injuries myself. So I kind of missed, you know, majority of the season last year because of injuries. And, you know, I'm just blessed and grateful to be able to go back out here and play again. Do you prefer left guard or do you prefer tackle? What do you prefer? Whatever, whatever I can do to help the team win, wherever I can fill in at. Let's go to Will Plachik, followed by Stephen Toronto. Hey, Dennis, as far as just the time that you spent during joint practices filling in for John, how much did that help you? And not only that, but how comfortable, I guess, are you at that particular position on the line? Because you filled in there before for him. Oh, I feel pretty. I feel pretty good at that position. I had guys like uh, Trey Turner when I was a rookie. Trey Turner helped me, you know, learn how to actually play guard. And then I got, you know, John and Pat and all the older guys, you know, to help me out. So, you know, I feel pretty good at that position. And what has Taylor at least kind of done with you since kind of fear, uh, hearing about the news? What has he done for you to try to at least kind of get you more comfortable over there, knowing that you are going to be the guy on Sunday? Uh, me and Taylor talk all the time, man. So. You know, me and Taylor just got that uh, that connection where we always talk and we always working on plays and, and sitting next to me in the meeting room, so we always talking about football. Dennis, Coach told us that John's going to be on the COVID list for the next 10 days. Uh, with that announcement this morning, I was wondering, have you spoken to John since he was placed on the COVID list, and how is he doing? John's doing good. Right, let's go to Darren Gamp for the next question. Dennis, how hard is it to prepare yourself mentally when you're in kind of that sixth man spot where you might be playing tackle, might be playing guard? What's the challenge of preparing yourself that way? Uh, the only challenge is you, you just never know. But like I said, you being in that position, you just have to prepare as a starter and you always have to, you know, be ready whenever your name is called. So. Um, I pretty I learned that pretty early on, and and I was you know preparing as if I was going to start regardless. So, how much guard did you play? I mean, you said Trey kind of taught you how to play guard. Prior to that, had you had any experience doing it? No, I played a a little a few reps at guard uh, my rookie year, and my second year was the first year I was officially a guard. So. Anybody, uh, any more questions? Joe Person, go ahead. Yes, what's sort of the tricks of the trade? Like, what's what's the easy, not that either either one's easier, but, but is there one that seems to come a little more natural to you? Uh, anywhere on the left side, I feel like, because just because I've been doing, you know, left, left tackle work since I started playing football in 10th grade, so I feel like just anywhere on the left side is more natural for me. And could you kind of expand a little bit on kind of what Trey taught you and what those conversations were like and where those conversations took place, that kind of thing? 
at guard, everything happens quicker. You know, at tackle, you get a few a few yards before you actually engage with the opponent. So at guard, he taught me how to, you know, shoot the hands real early. You got to be accurate. You got to be anchored. And you got to, you know, you got to be very grounded when you play inside. So. Let's go to David Newton, followed by Jonathan Alexander. <clears throat> yeah, congratulations on your little girl. What, what is her name? And uh, just kind of what was that whole moment like for you? Charlie. And it was a beautiful moment. I, lo I love my girl. How, how do you spell her name? C-H-A-R-L-I-E. Go ahead, Jonathan. You're muted right now. Sorry. Uh, Dennis, I, I got here a little late. I want to ask you two quick questions. When did you have your, your daughter exactly first? Uh, two days after my birthday. August Had her on August 9th. Congratulations as well. Um, also, what's the biggest difference in, in, in making that switch from left guard and right guard? Why, 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 is it, why is it difficult, you know? Or why is it, you know, why is it difficult to make that switch? I guess because it's... It's the opposite side. You know, you go from working everything on the left side and getting your hand placement and your timing right on the left side, and you got to go switch and do it on the other side. I feel like just switching sides is the hard part. But once you learn, like, concepts and schemes and everything, and you put it together, then you'll be fine. The question, did you cry when your daughter was born? No. 